everyone, welcome to the studio. So again, today I'm going to use my container that was the packing plastic at a, for a Keurig paper filter container. So it has two places for a pour out. Now I've done another painting on one of my other videos. I call it two rivers. It looks like two rivers coming together and it's very separate. So today I'm going to try maybe a figure eight pour and see what that comes out like. All right, so I hope you enjoy the results. Okay, so on our 10 by 20, 10 by 20 canvas, I'm going to put a black background. I'm going to use three different metallic colors in green on the one side and copper and a dark gold and a light gold, all in metallics on the other side. Black background, and I'm going to try to make it kind of fluid and just do a figure eight pour and tilt it out. So I have prepared my canvas with tape on the back, push pins, and then I like to spray my canvas with water. Now, canvases will, if you buy better canvases, they'll come with these little wedges that go down in these corners. I do not use them unless my canvas is really out of whack. Usually just spraying the canvas will give me a nice drum-like texture and I can then begin to paint. So let me mix up my paints and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm getting ready to stack my cup. And just to show you again, it's a cup that has two little divots in it right there. I'm putting greens on one side, golds on the other side. I might actually uh, drizzle a little bit of black in the bottom. That's going to be the last thing that comes out. Just this little touch of black. These are mixed a little bit runny, not super runny. So if you want to think of the texture of maybe honey when you warm it up a little bit, runs out pretty quickly. Might mound up a little bit, but just disappears right away. These are little shot glasses, so you can see I'm not using a whole lot of paint here. Alright, so here you go. My cup is stacked. The rest of the bubbles in a minute. Okay, so here is my stacked cup and I'm just going to begin pouring. Making me a little nervous here. skinny right there backtracking well, that is going to be interesting okay so there it is what shall we do with that Let's just get it moving first. It has some beautiful little zigzags. Let's see.
thinking since the copper is taking over, I'm going to let some of this all come off and then stretch it back just a little bit. Let me bring it back to the middle and show you what we have. Oh, this has turned out wonderful. All metallics. And actually, I'm going to turn it around again so you can see what I see because I do want to stretch it back towards you just a little bit more. I do love these colors, but I don't want them to be so stretched right there. All right, so I think we're going to either have stretched here or stretched there. So I think I'm going to stop right here. Let me rinse off my gloves, fix the edges of my painting, and then I'll bring you in for a closer shot of this one. This one is beautiful. All right, so I do believe that this painting is turning out wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed everything.